Hey everybody, Ryan with BlueDelphinFitness.com. Today showing you how to use a self myofascial release or a pin and stretch technique using a lacrosse ball for your piriformis. Piriformis is a deep rotator or external rotator of the femur. It helps to draw the leg back and open up the leg into abduction and external rotation. It oftentimes is a synergistic dominant muscle for the glute max. So it's a pesky muscle, and not to mention that it actually helps to stabilize the sacrum and one of the three muscles that stabilizes the spine or attaches, excuse me, the femurs to the spine. So when it is adaptively short or hyperactive, it can cause a lot of problems. So I wanna make sure that we're good at relaxing it. It does lay underneath the max. The butt is on top of it. You gotta get through it. So you're pushing through it towards the pelvis attaches the femur at the trochanter, the little elbow here, over to the sacrum, the lowest portion of your spine. So you gotta smush through the max, roll up and down to find it. And again, it's pretty simple to find once you get to it. You're gonna put the ball right underneath your sit bone, and you're gonna roll up and down until you find, again, a tender point or something that's, again, more neural, because it sits on top of this, the sciatic nerve. So it doesn't take a lot to find. Notice that the leg is extended and externally rotated. So I'm gonna start with the muscle in a softened state. We always wanna make sure that it's disengaged and neutral. And again, I'm gonna sit into it by pushing off my left heel to compress into the muscle on the right side. So it's pressing through the glute max and into this muscle. And again, remember that it's about horizontal with the edge of the femur over to the sacrum. So that's the general area. We don't want it to be painful really easy to want to push deep into it and provoke pain so try not to do that by pushing through your palms you can rest against the wall if it's too much for your shoulders let it sink and then we're going to rotate internally and pull it into flexion so again we're going to stretch through it by internal rotation adduction and flexion the opposite of the muscles action you'll pull until you feel the stretch resistance out of the muscle it'll tense up got to wait for that to relax again it'll sink in and then pull it up again, and you can go in multiple stages of tension to softening, tension to softening. Just make sure that you're not pulling so hard that it tucks your tailbone under, makes your spine flex, or makes it rotate over. That can irritate your sacroiliac joint and really cause some issues with the lower back, so you don't want to do that. Any questions on what we did, reach out, admin at fluidhealthfitness.com. Really awesome, guys. This one's going to really help you maintain your balance and stability, so get after it. We'll see you soon.